How y'all doing, family? This is Chris Rowe with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news, family. Coming to you from the Hill Block uh, Briefing Room. This is came out March 31st, 2019. It says, former pastors threatened local newspaper during sermon. I cut people. That's what that motherfucker said, family. Is the video right here. Y'all can check out the whole video. I haven't watched the whole video yet, but I'm going to check it out. And it says a former pastor from South Carolina mega church on Sunday defeated a defended the church, the church's controversial current leader pastor, who's during an impassioned guest sermon said, I cut people in apparent threat directed at a local news outlet. <laughs> says the Greenville News had been reporting on recent controversies centering, centering around John Gray the current pastor of Relentless Church, whose purchase of a $200,000 Lamborghini for his new wife drew backlash. Former pastor Hope Carpenter apparently took issue with the reporting towards the end of his address during the Sunday sermon, video of which was posted on YouTube. She said, I love you, Pastor John and Pastor Aventer. I believe in you. I'm praying for you. I'm rooting for you. Before adding, I cut people. <laughs> Say, I got a knife right in that back pocketbook. Greenville News. Come on. We done, we done went through this. Oh, man, this motherfucker here. But check this shit out. Why the fuck is this motherfucker purchasing, he purchasing his wife a Lamborghini with the fucking people's money? You feel what I'm saying? This is why people don't go to fucking church right now, still to this day. But you still have a lot of sleep, sleeping, walking uh, motherfuckers that still going to go regardless if they doing right or not. I ain't put my fucking money in the church. They got me fucked up all the way. And it says the uh, closing message drew a loud applause and cheer for the crowd. The video of the sermon was first reported by the Greenville News Carpenter previously Car Carpenter previously served as a co-pastor of the church with her husband Ron Carpenter when it was known as Redemption Church. Gray's wife and co-pastors Aventer Gray in a video appeared shocked by Carpenter's remark. He says the Hill has reached out to Greenville News for a comment. John Gray defended his purchase of the luxury car for his wife while pushing back against critics who raised suggestions about whether he bought the car with church money. Yeah, he he bought the church. He, yeah, he bought that car with church money. He didn't buy that shit with no damn fucking talking about something. He bought it with God's help. Nah, nigga. That was the fucking people's money. Talking about God helped me make to God helped me to make my wife's dreams come through. Yeah, no. The fucking people help your wife uh make her damn dreams come through with the fucking money that they're getting they're getting offering motherfucking tides and all the rest of that extra bullshit that they be fucking coming up with come on man ain't nobody fucking stupid we already know the fucking hustle game they got so many fucking churches on every fucking street corner but you still got black people in the fucking ghettos come on man get the fuck out of here with that shit man and they not helping out they just getting the money, just like the rest of them. Say Gray previously served as the associate uh, pastor at Joel Austin Lakewood Church, which another motherfucker. I don't trust his ass at all. What he did in fucking Texas. That motherfucker did in Texas. That's a no good motherfucker. Lakewood Church in Houston until taking over Relentless Church in 2018 following the Carpenters' Relocation, according to the Greensville News, Carpenter has also found herself in controversies for recent for recently for criticizing NFL players who took a knee during the national anthem, according to the state. See, they'd be the same Christian uh, cooning motherfuckers as going to talk about black players, NFL black players kneeling because. Our brothers and sisters getting shot in the fucking streets and shit ain't being fucking done about it. 
But it'd be the same motherfuckers gonna go out there cooning for the white man and talk about some hallelujah and all this uh, and all this uh extra bullshit, but out there cooning and shit like that and going against their fucking own people. Christians are one of the worst fucking big hypocrites of a mall family. And you talking about evil? These are some of the most evil motherfuckers as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about really. They don't they don't do what the the book the good book says to do, but they're always gonna fucking ask, oh, you better pay your tithes. Better pay your offering and shit like that. But let it if if your fucking uh your lights get cut off or some bullshit like that, and you ask them, hey, Pastor, I need your help or whatever. And you know what they're gonna say? Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, just ask for ask ask for it from the Lord and He'll give it to you. Nah, nigga, I need this fucking money now. Nah. Hear me? But that's some bullshit they don't fucking do. But they will always want you to fucking give them some money every time you go to church and shit. Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. That's why a lot of people running from the church because they don't do nothing but get your damn money and tell you all feel good shit, shit that make you feel good. But it ain't going to do nothing for you in real life. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. But family, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll put the link in the description. Y'all can look at the whole video uh, yourselves and check it out. Uh, mm -hmm. Smash the like button. I'll be back, family. I'll be back with another one.